connect Jesus Christ to my body to become a spiritual summit of world evangelization who shines like stars. But if I drive out demons by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Or again, how can anyone enter a strong man's house and carry off his possessions unless he first ties up the strong man? Then he can rob his house. Only when Christ's power and authority that God promised reside within our bodies can tremendous strength of God come out from our bodies. He gave us authority to drive out evil spirits and to heal every disease and sicknesses. Thus, we must definitely connect Christ to our bodies, who is the power and authority of God that crushed the serpent's head with the offspring of the woman, Messiah Christ of Genesis 3.15. The Israelites lost the power and authority God has given and were bound as slaves of Egypt for 430 years. If we look spiritually, Egypt is a nation that is completely bound by Satan. However, when the Israelites applied the blood of the Passover lamb, which is the power and authority of Christ of Genesis 3.15, horrible disasters of death came to Egypt. It collapsed in a sudden, even without walls. Also, the people of God received blessings of coming out with all the treasures of Egypt. However, the special army of Egypt were chasing to kill all the Israelites. Moreover, there was a great Red Sea in front of the people of Israel. The Israelites standing in front of the Red Sea were trembling in fears after hearing the Egyptian army is coming after them to kill. They complained in resentment. Hey Moses! Was it because there were no graves to bury us in Egypt that you brought us all the way here to die? Now, we will die by those Egyptian soldiers. At that moment, God told Moses, The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Like this, tremendous power and authority are only in the name of the Lord Christ who fights for us. When we crush Satan's head, With Genesis 3.15, Christ's name, even the Red Sea is divided. Thus, the offspring of the woman, Christ of Genesis 3.15, the one who destroyed the devil's work, told us directly, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. Only when I accept Christ and Christ's power and authority that God has given me or connected to my body can I bind off the strong man and drive out filthy demons. Not only that, but the kingdom of God will come upon my body and I will be able to conquer this world. Today, let's see Judas Iscariot, who was Jesus' disciple. Judas Iscariot has been following Jesus for three and a half years. However, he did not accept Jesus as his Christ, who came to get rid of the devil's work that drags us to path of destruction in this world. Jesus called Judas Iscariot to wash his feet and also give an opportunity to change himself as a wonderful disciple. However, Judas only pretended to love Jesus and hear his word but his heart was full of loving himself and money. Thus, the devil already put into the heart of Judas Iscariot to betray Jesus. Even Jesus said, One of you is going to betray me. After hearing this, his disciples were startled. Who would ever betray Jesus? Leaning back against Jesus, John asked him, Lord, who is it? It is the one to whom I will give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. Then dipping the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas Iscariot and told him, What you are about to do, do quickly. As soon as Judas took the bread, Satan entered into him. He went out and left Jesus aside on a dark journey at night. If we don't accept Jesus Christ, 
nor connect him to our bodies like Judas Iscariot, we have nothing to do with God. Thus, our hearts, thoughts, and bodies become dark. In the end, we will leave Jesus' side and bound by Satan, dragged towards a dreadful and dark journey of night. Satan, who entered into Judas Iscariot's heart and told him to betray Jesus, is still at work coming to my body, hurt and thought to control me. I must firmly remember this. Satan is a spiritual thief and murderer who steals, kills, and destroys our spirit and souls. He always rules and attacks us to devour our spirits and souls like a hungry lion. To prevent me from going on a journey of darkness, sin and death, bound by Satan under sin separated from God. God sent me a gift, which is salvation given to me through Jesus Christ's death on the cross. Therefore, I must accept Jesus as the true King, prophet and priest as my Christ. Also, I must connect Jesus Christ to my body, heart and thoughts. I must fight the spiritual battle to completely crush with Christ's name, Satan's head that plays tricks in my heart and thoughts. The liar devil who makes me live as if there is no God in me, trying to deceive God and man, depart from my body in Jesus Christ's name. If I do that, I will live as a wonderful child of God who is confident and strong. And I will be happy and joyful every day, calling the name of Christ. Now, what would happen if I have connected Jesus Christ to my body every day? I would not tremble in fears even before the strongest Goliath, who is good at fighting. I will boldly call the name of Christ, who is with me at this moment, and see the answer of God who fights for me. Like Solomon, I will not be swayed by the words of man that were controlled by Satan. I will only fight the spiritual battle of connecting Christ to my body and rule over the nation with wisdom and brightness given by God. Daniel, who was a captive to Babylon, connected Christ to his body even in the midst of the trial of being thrown to a lion's den. Then, he listened to the voice of God and enjoyed the greatest grace. Your light will shine like the brightest of the heavens, and you who led many to Christ like the stars forever and ever. God gave his dream to our young remnants of Jesus Love Church. He gave the dream of world evangelization. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go! and make disciples of all nations. Surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be witness of Christ in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Every day, through the spiritual battle of connecting Jesus Christ to my body, I must break down what I want to do following my own thoughts and mind, and have Jesus' mind. Now I bless you to no longer walk on the dark journey of night, but tightly hold on to Jesus and become a spiritual summit of world evangelization who shines brilliantly like stars. Almighty God, Thank you for giving me the gift of salvation as I was separated from you, fallen under sin, bound by Satan. Thank you for having me accept Jesus as my Christ and live as a child of God with the authority of Christ who is always with me. Satan, who put into Judas Iscariot's heart the thought to sell Jesus, still controls my thoughts and mind. May I remember this and connect Genesis 3.15, Jesus Christ to my body and become a spiritual summit of world evangelization, who shines like stars. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen.